everyone, Anna Kruger here with Mastering Inside Sales, where we teach you the art of relationship-based sales. And today I'm gonna address a question I've been getting a lot lately, which is what is my call opener for for sale by owners and expireds? Now, maybe you don't call those lead sources, but stay with me because the call opener I'm gonna share applies to every single lead source you will call. Friend, family member, for sale by owner, expired, web lead, and open house lead. Yes, every lead source that you call, there is a five-step call opener that works every single time. All right, so what are the five steps to the call opener? Now, I will tell you, we teach this in Mastering Inside Sales, and usually people will say something like, that seems really easy, I probably don't need to write that down. The reality is, every time we teach this, when we go to implement it, people will say something like, that was a lot harder than I thought it should be. So make sure you write these five steps down and you will now have a template for your call opener. And the thing is, the first 10 seconds of your call establishes the, how the rest of the call is gonna go. That's your rapport building first impression. So we wanna get it right. So what are the five steps for every lead source? Well, the first two steps are easy. You're gonna say your name and their name in any order that you want. Hey, this is Anna, I'm looking for George. Or hey, George, this is Anna whatever you prefer. When you say your name, make sure you identify where you are calling from. So step one and two, your name, their name. All right, step number three, and this one is crucial. You are going to express gratitude that they took your phone call. One, gratitude is a very high form of communication, but also it makes it a lot harder for people to hang up on you because you just express gratitude that they're on the phone with you. So this would sound something like, I really appreciate you taking my phone call today. Or, hey, thanks for taking my call. However that works for you, but express gratitude. The fourth step is the one that's gonna change depending on the lead source you're calling, yet the setup is the, is the same. So step number four is I'm calling you because, and this is why this works for every lead source. So if you're calling a referral from a friend, you could say, I'm calling you because George recommended I reach out to you. He mentioned you're thinking about making a move. If you're calling a web lead, you could say, hey, I'm giving you a call. I saw you were on our website last night, checking out houses. If you're calling an expired, you would say, hey, I saw that your home just came off the market. Don't say expired. That's like an internal term. It's, I saw your home just came off the market. And if you're calling a for sale by owner, it would be, I'm calling you because I saw you have a home for sale. So step four is where you customize it based on the lead source, yet the structure is the same. And then step number five is you're gonna ask an open-ended question about motivation. Most commonly, you can say something like, what has you thinking about making a move? If you're calling expireds, I like to tweak it just a little. It's still an open-ended question. It's still about motivation, but I'm gonna instead say, hey, I saw your house just came off the market. It's step number four. Step number five. I'm curious what prompted you to want to make a move when you originally listed your home. The reason I like to do that is I just know from calling expireds, a lot of them say, oh, we changed our mind. We're not going to do it. But if I can say a while back, you expressed interest, we're establishing at one point, and it might not be today, you were interested. And I found they open up much better. So again, the five steps are your name, their name. That's one and two. Number three, thank you so much for taking my call. Number four, I'm calling you because, and then number five, an open-ended question about motivation. The reason it matters to have one call opener for every lead source, even expired in FISBO, is because it takes 10,000 hours to get to mastery. And if you have a different call opener for every source that you call, you are simply multiplying how long it's gonna take you to master that opener. So we want one opener that works for every lead source, and this is the one that'll do it. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I turned this on just for you, just so you know. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Go work on that call opener.